Tomorrow, last day of quarantine. Free man once again. Uh, yeah, trying to get back on the road. Or not. Uh, anyways, my whole life I've been a little bit of a pyromaniac. Uh, every time things seem to be going good, I, I sometimes try and find a way to burn it down. Um, my good friend, Mike Gould, he's got like 35 or 50 national titles or something like that. Anyways, I, I, I've, I, I can't have Michael always being the guy who gets something and I don't get it. So I spent the last couple days in the hospital, unfortunately. And, um, if I had plans with you sometime over the next couple weeks or the next few months, uh, I may have by accident burned them down temporarily. Not to say they won't grow back better than ever before, but I may have unfortunately put them on hold temporarily. As I, as I lay here in the position which I am now most comfortable on my back, like the crippled gimp that I am, I was once a champion capable of running almost all day long. And now I lie here on my couch thinking about ha how ambitious it would be to maybe walk to the kitchen and get a glass of water. Or maybe I could do a set of curls or something. Maybe. But it's still very, very, very early for me. Um, unfortunately, uh, my risk factors were... Just spending too much time on airplanes, I think. That's uh, that's what maybe got me from being tall. I uh, I have uh, deep vein thrombosis, blood clot in my left leg. It's a big one, um, and I got uh, clot in my lung as well. So uh, I. Tried to pretend like it wasn't happening. Uh, tried to walk it off and all the stuff that all us tough guys like to do. So my advice to you is if you have a weird pain in your leg and, and you're an old cripple, go to the hospital right away. Don't uh, extend, your, extend, uh, extend how long your blood gets to turn into porridge inside your body because that's just not cool. Uh, no. Get in there right away and get on those tasty blood thinners so that, uh, so yeah, so you can get, get ready to be a champion once again in no time. Probably only a matter of a few short months. Anyways, uh, I'm super, super upset, super pissed about it, but I think that, um, yeah, I'll make the best of it. My apologies to everybody that I had plans with, um, you know, who was getting ready to see me or something. I will make it up. And a huge thanks, of course, Jody. If it wasn't for you, I probably would have still not have gone in. Talking to Mike Gould. Mike, thanks for convincing me. And Dr. Jay Pollock for making everything so easy and talking sense into me. Uh, thanks so much, guys. Thanks for having my back. I'll save the, you know, I'll let you know how things are going as I get better. But uh, I'm fine. And, uh, yeah, turn and burn, grip and rip, all that good stuff. Wiggle your toes when you're on airplanes. Stay hydrated, people.